My name is John Mitchell. I'm the proprietor of Montalto, which is down uh, on the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria. It's a family business, which we, we own. We established it back in uh, about 2000. In the first instance, we were simply going to have a vineyard and grow fruit and enjoy the, the, uh, the products that would flow from that. But we then decided to share the asset that we've got with people. And so we built a building, we established a restaurant. We've got casual dining in our piazza. We can do wine tasting. We've also got 1,500 olive trees, so we make our own olive oil, tapenades and other, other produce. We also have our own kitchen gardens. We've got an orchard. We've got uh, wetlands that run through the valley. And so we've got a whole range of activities that we ourselves love and which we want to share with people when they come. My name's Neil Williams, I'm the Creative Director of the Montalto Sculpture Prize and have been for 10 years. I think we've got a fantastic landscape for showing their work. Um, we try and make it as simple, straightforward process as possible and as easy as possible for them to show their work here. Um, there is a nice sense of community when, during the installation week of all the artists on site installing their work together. Uh, I love being part of that. My name is Joanna Rhodes. The name of my piece is called The Roll. The piece was inspired by my horse who rolls on the beach after we go galloping on a Sunday morning. He just looks stunning, thrashing around, and he's just in ecstasy. This sculpture is made from core 10, which is the rusty looking metal, and just layers and layers of core 10 all welded together to form the, the main shape. My name is Frank Velds. Well, my piece is called Legal Immigrants. The work is uh, made from gorse, recycled fencing wire and corrugated iron. Well, if I won the uh, $20,000 prize here, it uh, would make a huge difference to my art practice. My name is Jacek Vankowski. My piece is called Power Nui, which is a Maori word for big abalone. And the piece is, it's an abstract piece, but it uh, tries to capture the idea of a large clamshell opening and unfolding. The ideas come from uh, marine animals. I used to be a marine biologist. My name is Christabel Wigley. My piece is called Fingers Crossed. This particular sculpture piece was made from reclaimed cypress. The piece was inspired by man's relation to nature and fingers crossed. It all goes okay. <laughs> My name is Ralph Dreesen. The piece was inspired by our politicians um, because it's a kinetic piece, so it's just rotating around itself, spinning. It's called moving forward, dot, 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 question mark. I'm a trained artist blacksmith, so it's 99% metal. Sometimes brass, sometimes copper, but mainly steel. My name is Marcus Tatton. My piece is called I Am. Uh, this piece is inspired by our um, current perception of having so many opportunities in our Western civilization and how we can say yes and no to such a, a wide range of possibilities. Hi, my name is Rudy Yas and my piece is called Silver Leaves. I work mainly in steel, uh, standard steel and core 10 steel and since about year and a half I concentrate on kinetic sculptures which move in the wind. Well, most of my sculpture is inspired by shapes out of nature basically and, and I was hoping that the organic shape in combination with the wind gives it an extra dimension. So th this year is significant for us because it's actually 10 years um, that this show has been running. All through those 10 years the thing that's been important to us is to ensure that those of you who share in our dream have a good time. Well this year is 10 years so um, we started it in 2002 um, and it really started because I discovered a sculpture that I really liked, thought it would look good on the building, put it in place and 
people enjoyed it and we, I guess, developed our passion for sculpture and the landscape. And the winner of the 2012 Montalto Sculpture Prize, it's a wonderful $20,000 prize. Uh, and congratulations go to Christabel Wigley for uh, her wonderful piece, Fingers Crossed. If um, my advice to someone who was wanting to enter the Montalto show next year would be to present a very clear application, clear idea, so the judges will know where they're coming from. It'll be easy for them to read. It seems that the people that come here love the things that we love as well. So that's how the evolution of wine, food, casual food, fully catered picnics, sculpture, wetlands, they all flow from that one philosophy. They're our passions and the people that come here enjoy them as well.